it's Joel, your host, and welcome to the Joel Homie Show. I'd like to present to you a documentary based around covering Polaroid's history within just over the last eight decades. During the early to mid-1940s, taking photographs was a relatively complex and extensive task. Cameras on average throughout the early 1940s were very large, heavy, and in most cases had to be supported by a tripod if any amount of clarity was wanted in a photo which of course around this time was usually the desired outcome of a photograph as the setup and preparation would have been rendered just about pointless in most cases for a photo that ended up being not exposed properly, the framing was off, and or the focus was out. During what most would end up considering the semi-early days of professional photography, preparation really meant everything, as if you missed or messed up just one simple step, it would in most cases make the rest of your preparation work just about pointless. Throughout the early and mid-1940s, not only was the Polaroid Company founded by Edwin H. Land in Massachusetts 1937, but its first land camera also made its debut in 1948 with all 58 original units selling out almost immediately. This was all the great result of Land's daughter asking him why she had to wait to see the photos her father had taken even once they had been shot. Almost immediately after the initial release of the air quote Polaroid land camera, the world got to experience true instant photography for the very first time. This quickly led to a much larger demand for instant cameras than Land had ever initially thought. This massive revolutionary turn in instant photography and photography as a whole would go on to change the world's ability to document just about anything on a moment's notice through the power of advanced chemical reactions that made up what we now know as instant film possible. The early on success for Polaroid would of course be what would become rapid growth in the quickly developing instant photography market that would just about directly benefit Polaroid. However, with great success, there is almost always someone else that also wants a quote slice of success as well. The Kodak Photography Company would be sued by Polaroid in 1976 for quote stealing Polaroid's chemical process for producing and developing instant film. Polaroid's outstanding success, however, would start to die down throughout the 1990s and would continue to do so into the early 2000s with the introduction of the digital camera that was becoming increasingly more readily available for both photography and videography applications. Digital photography cameras were not only becoming more accessible to the public, but digital cameras quickly started to become more convenient to the public as well. This, of course, would not set up a good future for Polaroid. Polaroid would end up declaring bankruptcy in the mid-2000s, but this isn't the end of Polaroid's story. The air quote impossible project was founded in 2008 by major Polaroid and instant photography enthusiasts. In 2017, a impossible project shareholder would end up purchasing not only the original Polaroid brand, but also former property. This led to the Impossible Project being renamed to air quote Polaroid Originals later the same year. The company would be renamed once again in 2020 to simply air quote Polaroid, which is how it still stands today.